California who wants to produce Natali Coco and market food products produced through fermentation process. So here's the introduction on our product which is Natali Coco. Natali Coco is a cherry, translucent and jelly-like fruit produced by the fermentation of coconut water. Natali Coco was originally invented in 1949 by Teodula K. Africa as an alternative to the traditional Filipino Natali Pina, which is made from pineapples. In addition, Natali Coco is mainly made from coconut water, so it has a modest nutritional profile. It is often characterized as helpful since it contains dietary fiber to aid digestion while carrying fewer calories compared to other desserts. The materials that are needed for this fermentation process are coconut water, water, refined sugar, ammonium phosphate, acetic acid, and nata starter, which is the fermented coconut water. Besides that, the apparatus that are used are weighing scale, strainer, white mouth glass jars, container, kettle, and cheese clothes. So let's proceed with the procedure. <music> Starter for this nata de coco is prepared by mixing white coconut water with sugar, zervazur ammoniac and acidic acid. And after the temperature decreases, it then mixed with estobacter xylinum and fermented for 6 days. After 6 days, collect water in the container. Then the collected water is filtered through a strainer. After that, 100 grams of refined sugar and 5 grams of monobasic ammonium phosphate are mixed for every liter of water in the container. Then, the mixture is transferred into a kettle and is allowed to boil. It is then transferred back into the container and allowed to cool after boiling. Then, 69 ml of glacial acetic acid is added. After all of that, 110 ml to 150 ml of nata de coco starter, which is the fermented coconut water, is added to the mixture. It is subsequently transferred into white mouth glass jars to leave a lot of space on top of the mixture and then covered with clean cheesecloth. The mixture is allowed to grow at room temperature for 15 days or more. Precaution, do not move glass jars during growth period. Harvest is ready after 15 days or more, so make sure that all conditions are accepting so that one enables to reuse the remaining liquid which serves as starter for succeeding preparations. Lastly, the nata is cut into cubes and is subjected to a series of boiling with fresh water until the acidity is totally removed. After that, 1 kilo of refined sugar is added for every kilo of nata. Then, they are mixed together. After that, it is allowed to boil until the nata cubes become transparent. Finally, the nata de coco is transferred into the glass jars. Okay, so, our team have decided where to buy the ingredients. And so, the total cost of making this nata de coco is 36 ringgit. The price of each ingredient have shown there. So we have decided to sell our nata de coco with the price of 8 ringgit for a jar. obtained that immobilized cells still produce nata up to two replication fermentation. The average time for producing nata was 15 days, with an average thickness of 0.8 cm. The pH value of nata after 15 days of fermentation is 3.5 because the nata was formed irrespective of the sucrose and ammonium sulfate concentrations. Therefore, the fermentation of nata de coco prepared using magic coconut water could serve as a healthy dietary fiber food. It also can be used in ice cream and desserts. Commercialization Potential Pudding Seller We targeted the pudding seller to buy our nata de coco product 
as it will become one of the ingredients to be added into the pudding. Next, family with kids. Our nata di coco product comes with different types of flavor, such as lychee and strawberry. The flavor of fruits will attract the kids to love our nata di coco. First of all, the main effect of fermenting nata di coco to our health is this food contains good bacteria, which is lactic acid bacteria that are important for our digestion. Plus, other advantages of lactic acid bacteria are they can improve lactose digestion, prevent and treating diarrhea, and act on the immune system by helping the body to resist and fight infection. Next, fermentation process also brings benefits to the society. This is because they can enjoy the nata di coco whenever they want, as the food can be spoiled in a few months. This and indirectly can cut the amount of food waste in our country. Lastly, nata di coco can last long in between 4 and 18 months when they are fermented properly and stored in a dark and cool place. Nata di coco are preserved using each old process that not only boost the food shelf life and nutritional value, but also give your bodies a dose of helpful probiotics for good digestion. This can make the export process easier as they can be sent anytime as the food can be spoiled in the short term. So, the nata di coco that are received by the consumers are still in a good condition and plus, um, they also contain a lot of good bacteria that can help with people's digestion and many more. We have two choices on how to produce nata di coco, either by mass produced in the factory or small scale at home. Let's see the production of nata di coco in the factory and at home. Firstly, collect 500ml of coconut water in a pot and boil it. While coconut water is boiling, add 200 grams of sugar and 10ml of vinegar into it. After the coconut water boiled, put it in a bowl and wait for the temperature to decrease until 30 degrees Celsius. Then, add 10ml of acetobacterium and cover it with breathable materials like newspaper and let it rest for 7 to 10 days. After 10 days, you can enjoy your own nata di coco. Firstly, they will peel off the coconut and shave it. Then, they will squeeze fresh coconut in order to obtain the freshest ingredients of nata. After that, they will mix the ingredients of coconut milk with sugar, vinegar, and water. The R&D team will cultivate Estobacter xylinum and look for a suitable sample of nata to add it into the mixture of coconut milk, sugar, vinegar, and water. Ferment process takes about 7 days where the temperature must be well controlled to ensure the nata growth is healthy. Certain thickness of nata will be formalized after 7 days. After it had been harvested for 7 days, they will clean up the surface of nata. To clean, each sheet of nata will be put into a cutting machine and will be cut into a small cube according to the size required. In order to ensure the same size of every cube of nata di coco, they will only select the finest cube of nata. Then, the nata di coco will be rinsed for 1 to 2 days in order to clean out the acid contained. Finally, nata di coco will be cooked with high temperature by adding sugar and ingredients.
Sage Marketing Plan, we plan to open a Sage Business Account to promote of our business of Natali Coco. Next, we have decided to open delivery for those who live in Kuala Lumpur and Selangor. And then, product sampling. Product sampling means that we will give you guys tester before buying our product. Next is newspaper advertisement and lastly is we decided to make a big sale every three months. For example, if you guys buy three jar of our Tadi Coco, we will give you guys with one jar for free.